We now proceed to the Vice Chairwoman, Ann Wagner of Missouri. I uh, thank my, my colleague, uh, Congressman Wilson, for yielding me the time, and I thank Chairman McCall uh, and Ranking Member Meeks for prioritizing this urgent matter. And Prosecutor General Costin, um, thank you for being here today. Uh, the testimony we heard prior to, uh, to this hearing uh, was devastating, and we are grateful for the work that you are doing to bring war criminals to justice. We cannot rest in our efforts to target all those in Russia who are complicit in the Kremlin's crimes, and it is my belief that culpability for the appalling atrocities that Russia has committed goes right to the very top. Putin and his cronies must pay for the indiscriminate and wanton violence they have unleashed on the Ukrainian people, including women and innocent children, the ill, infirmed, elderly, and the most vulnerable. I did, in fact, travel to the Ukraine-Poland border to, it was just over, I guess, a year ago, right, with many members on this committee, um, including Ms. Wild, as millions of Ukrainian civilians uh, fled to Putin's full-scale invasion. We met so many brave children and women making a terrifying journey from everything they had ever known and loved to become refugees in a strange country. And I hope and pray that many of these refugees have been able to return home and, and, and begin to put back together uh, their lives in some way, shape, or form. But I have been heartbroken to see the reports that thousands of Ukrainian children have been kidnapped and forcibly deported to Russia. I will tell you, as a mother and a grandmother, uh, this is absolutely chilling. Furthermore, it is genocidal, and I believe that the United States should lead the way um, in calling out Putin's regime for this unthinkable crimes. You are quite correct, sir, when you say that the world is watching, and I believe that history will judge us. Um, Prosecutor General Costin, as you know, uh, to constitute genocide, there must be a proven intent on the part of perpetrators to eliminate an, a national, eth ethnical, racial, or religious group. Can you provide clear examples of Russia's genocidal intent to destroy the Ukrainian people? Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Wagner, for your question. I will. I don't want to read these quotes of Russians, but I will do it. Mm -hmm. Putin's former advisor, Surkov, quote, there is no Ukraine, there is Ukrainianism. That is to say, a peculiar disorder of mind surprisingly taking to extremes by a fascination with ethnography. Such bloody local history, a mess instead of a state, there is Borsh, Bandera, Bandura, and there is no nation. Surkov was not only one of the advisors of Putin. He was also involved in negotiations in trilateral contact group, so-called Minsk Agreement, Normandic format, which were held starting from 2014 until have you presented this evidence to Secretary Blinken, and have you asked him to make a genocide determination? Uh, and if so, how did he respond? Not yet at the moment. I encourage you to do that, and I encourage this committee to do the same. Uh, what are your office's most significant challenges in investigating Russian war crimes and their atrocities committed in Ukraine since the full-scale invasion and what additional U.S. support would most enhance, most enhance your office's ability to investigate the tens of thousands of allegations of war crimes that you have received um, and facilitate effective prosecutions? You know, the most challenging is to identify the perpetrators, especially in cases where the survivors have a, have a physical contact. I mean, if they were forcibly detained, even not about sexual abuse or, or any torture, even in other war crimes, but 
where they have physic they saw these people, but if their people were protected, you know, by, by their faces were protected, it's not very easy to identify these perpetrators. In some cases, we have identified the military units. We have identified who was the commander of military unit, but we need also to identify the perpetrators. In other cases, like in intentional destroying or missile attacks against our critical civil infrastructure. Right. Some of these attacks started thousands of kilometers far from our border by air forces of uh, Russian Federation, because these missiles can fly thousands of kilometers. And the consequences of these attacks, you know, are in some cases tens of civilians killed hundreds uh, of civilians wounded, and we need to identify who gave coordinates of the object, who gave the order, and who initially pushed the button. Well, certainly my time has expired. Um, I appreciate the chair's indulgence, and I would just say this, that the U.S. must provide whatever technical resource support that we can to help you get these uh, prosecutions, and I will yield back. Thank you again, sir, very much. Thank you, and in this respect, once again, the sharing of intelligence information could be helpful to investigate such cases. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chair, Vice Chair.